hope life treats you all well. <laughs> Today we're going to do two things. So one, you just see this form called Yi Jing Jing. We're going to hold this as live stream seminars in the November 14th Saturday. We're going to explore and learn this Qigong form. And number two, I'm going to share one of the movements with you today to let you um, practice just in case some of you couldn't make these seminars. And then you can treat this movement as your daily routine in your Qigong practice. All right, so what is this form about? This form is called Yi Jing Jing. Yi means is that change or improve. Jin means the muscle or tendons around our body. So Yi Jing Jing, which overall that means this form for your Qigong form is stretching the muscles, use different angles, stretching, pulling, is keep your body, keep trying stretching them and make your body function even better. Let's do the movement in the number nine called Wo Hu Pu Si. Wo Hu Ming in Chinese is called lying tiger to get the food. Uh, push. Now, let me quickly show you the movement we're going to learn and then we explore them together. So first we start from here. You watch me first. Yeah, so this is the movement. Looks like a tiger, right? You can see. <sighs> now, if we try to learn more, basically we do left side and the right side, both sides. Let's start the first movement first. Space your legs, make yourself comfortable, feel the, uh, like a triangle. And then move the hands up from both sides, up to your chest area. And turn your side to the side. Turn your body at the side and slightly move a little bit. Make your stance more comfortable. Then become smaller gungbu. Hands change the tiger crown and move forward. Try straight away. And reach more forward as you can. Then dropping down. Close the floor but don't touch the floor. Then pulling back. The back leg bent. And chin close your body, make your back hug, then up and up your toes. And get ready second time, body go first, and then push it forward and dropping them down, close the flow as far as you can, then pulling back, the back leg already bent, and bring them up to here. We go three times, then body forward, hunch back, reach further, and dropping down. The ten fingers open and supporting there. The level close to your feet level, don't too far or too close, a little bit at the front of the feet, give you support. Okay, that's the first part. I mean this way, you can see different angles. So you start from here, up the hands to your chest level, turn body at the side. When you little bit step, adjust in the distance, make yourself comfortable, and body lean forward, become a tiger crawl, open the fingers, yeah, like that, that's it. And push forward, see the levels, reach further, 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 and dropping them down. Body low and pulling them back and up. Back to position again, ready. And second time, reach further, 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 further. Stretching, you feel the back spine area stretching and dropping down. Nice flow. And last one, and push forward. And reach the maximum, then dropping down. 
Replace the hands, close your feet. Ten fingers straight up. Okay, that's the one. Okay. After the ten finger stretching, next part movement. I come back this one, you can see movement. Both stance, up your heel, hands support. Good. After this one, you put the leg a little bit more straight up, slightly straight up, allow your hip area, lift them up. And here, body up. Your whole back is hushed up. And when your body up at the same time, the fingers grab on the floor. Feels really grounded. So, now you can feel the back area stretch. Look up. <clears throat> back up, back up, back up, and keep fingers stay on the head. And now move the head up, look up. The eye look about 45 angle looking up. Fingers grab on the floor. Back up, back up, look up, back up, look up, and finish. And slowly come back. And back to the position this set. It's a little bit harder. But we're looking for the power, the energy. During the time you grab on the floor at the same time, holding your body, you can't go anywhere. And you back up. See now, something grounded. Hands grounded, locking your hands, but your body is still stretching up. And at the same time, looking up, stretching up, looking up, stretching up. You can feel the back area being stretched. That's what we really want it. But we don't want to suddenly boom, stretch. We need like zing, 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 zing. That the power, like elastic, have more power there. That gives you tendon and muscle area stretching to the maximum. Okay. Attending this way so you can see a little bit more. So start from here, split your legs. Move the hands on the side. Turn your body. Little bit step. Become a tiger crown and push forward. Little bit lead. Look at my distance. Don't only drop further. You can feel stretch and dropping down. Then pulling up. Then push out. And you can feel this area give you support. Damn it though. And dropping down. Number three. Push it forward. And push it down here. Hold on. Grab on there. Move your heel up. And looking up. Back up, looking up, and finish. Come back to position, and stop there. Right, this is the movement. For the breathe exercise, plus this one. When you go here, it's inhale up to your lungs. And hold your breath. When you step forward, exhale. Push it, become a tiger. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. To your lungs. Exhale. And hold your breath, put it down. And relax the breath. Natural breathe. And hold on tight. And body up. Look up. Use inhale. Hold your breath, exhale, relax. Then turn it up, you finish here. Then you can change other side, up, same thing, moving up, turning side, little bit step, explore forward, and come back, the same things. We do three times, forward, and come back, feel the body like a wave forward and dropping down. Turn your heel and stretch your back, finger grab the flow, look up and relax. Then come back, body position, hands up and exhale, relax. That's the movement. 
not only use the muscle stretch, also the chi traveling to the area where you're going to stretch. Without the chi to help, you won't reach the maximum of your stretch. This is the qigong leaning, link in. So some of you, I, it's very hard for this proper movement. What I suggest you to do, if you couldn't hands drop on the floor, you can be like this, one, do the halfway, three, see this, halfway. Then when you're dropping down, like this, see this, already is okay. And then, look up. Instead, you have to, you, you, instead you drop down because I, I understand some of us injury sometimes we don't have this leg strengthening, we can't to do this. But we use this one instead. Even the movement is the same, but the uh, uh, attention should be the same. So your hands deep grab on here, don't move at all, and only your body move. And then that can uh, reach the same uh, benefit, if you see what I mean. So bear your mind, when you do this movement, no only thing about do the movement, you have to be fluid. This is feels like a, maybe something will help you. You know the boating, boat, right? This can imagine, uh, helps you to realize how the body work. Right, so the body is a wave. Wow. 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 Uh, have to be fluid. Then that helps you inside energy, the chi, like <laughs> that feelings. Okay, okay, that's it. We have time limited, so this should be clear enough for your practice. First time may be hard for you to understand all the details, but the practice after 50 times for the movement, you gradually feel familiar for the movement, then you can more understand, more uh, uh, feeling the each details of the breathing and the back stretching. Okay, I hope you enjoy this uh, uh, training sessions and uh, I hope to see you in the live stream training as well in this uh, uh, seminars. So you Keep well, I hope you keep training. Doesn't matter if you can't make it similar, all this is fine. But one thing, doesn't matter where you are, keep training, keep well. Okay, that's all we wish for. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you in the soon next video.